This video demonstrates a procedure for stimulating and staining peripheral blood mononuclear cells, or PBMCs, for multicolor flow cytometry analysis. Aliquots of PBMCs isolated from whole blood are placed in tissue culture plates. Cells are chemically or biologically stimulated to produce an immune response. Following stimulation, a cocktail of antibodies is added to identify cell types based on expressed surface markers. The cells are then permeabilized, and a different cocktail of antibodies is added to detect the expression of intracellular cytokines. Cells are then analyzed by facts to determine the cytokine profiles for specific subsets of PBMCs. Hi, I'm Amy Courtney from Dr. Jagan Sastry's lab in the Department of Immunology at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center. Hi, I'm Hong He, also from the Sastry's lab. Today we will show you a multicolor flow cytometry analysis of T cells responses. We use this procedure in our lab to study cellular immune responses in rhesus macaques. So let's get started. Begin this protocol using a hemocytometer to determine the viable cell counts of PBMCs from rhesus macaques by the tripan blue dye exclusion method. Working in a laminar flow hood, resuspend the cells in complete medium at a concentration of 10 million cells per milliliter. For non-specific stimulation, add 100 microliters of the cell suspension into each well of a 96 well tissue culture plate. Then, add 100 microliters of medium containing PMA and ionomycin to bring the total volume to 0.2 milliliters with a final concentration of 50 nanograms per milliliter PMA and 500 nanograms per milliliter ionomycin. For negative control wells, add 100 microliters of complete medium alone to each well. Incubate the cells at 37 degrees.